It was like any other day. I was just scrolling through my characters, minding my own business, admiring how many maxed out traces I had, until I came to a hook. The traces were decent, but they aren't that special anyways, right? WRONG! I got surprised when I stumbled upon a trace for the first time which I didn't know even existed. 5% max health healing, 35% effect dress. This has to be indicating something. Hmm. We can work out something with that. So both of these are tank traces. So what if Hook is secretly a tank? What if the two Hook mains have been playing her wrong all this time? Is it now finally time for an off-meta build? Even though playing Hook is already off-meta enough. But how could this build work? So Hook heals whenever she attacks a burning enemy. Luckily enough, she can apply burning herself, so she might be able to solo some things. We'll see. Looking at this, it's max health healing, so what if we just stack HP? To the relics! Okay, so we definitely have to go the healing tank relic here. Let's see if we even have enough of this set. This piece is great. This one's also good. Usually this would be bad, but in this case it's good, because we only need the defensive stats and attack. This one is okay. This one's great, so much defense, wow. And decent. For the light cones, there are not that many destruction light cones that can be defensive, but Clara's light cone should be the best one, it heals based off of attack. Okay, for stats we only need HP and attack. HP for the relic and talent healing, and attack for the light cone healing. That should be enough, I think. 8.3k HP hook. Oh <laughs> wow. <laughs> We even got to 2.3k attack somehow, that's almost as much as my Jingle Yu. That's more than my Topaz. Alright, the build is done, I'm happy with it. But how do we test her the best way possible? It would probably be the coolest if we could solo clear something, or testing how much damage we could out heal with this build. Okay, let's see how much healing she truly can do. Let's start with the hardest mode in the game, Golden Gears. And if we can't clear it, we'll make it a little easier. What do we even pick here? I guess this is fine. Let's select only hook. Oh, this is a bad idea. <laughs> Why am I doing this again? I can't leave. Oh, it's a double, not a choice. I can take both, I forgot. Don't mind if I do. Alright, we already got further than I expected. Oh no, not the bugs. Okay, the trick is to get all of them low and then kill them with a chain reaction of death damage. Else they just keep multiplying. There we go, easy. Nothing can stop us now. I don't think I can outheal an army of units though. Yep. I failed, but that was still impressive. We survived longer than expected. That's still really good. I do not care if we fail, I will make this build work somehow. But I'm not going to do Golden Gears again, because that's just not possible, at least not yet. The next thing I wanted to try is Mock. Even though there are no buffs, no blessings, I just want to check how long she can survive. Let's see how many turns it takes. Yeah, ideal zero damage. But we kinda keep ourselves alive here. I think we can out heal it. I think we can. Going once. Going twice. And first phase done. I think we won't survive the second phase though. And dead, alright. <laughs> and it took 12 cycles to die in stage 2. This is so hard. That's what she said. <laughs> okay, let's try something else. How about a boss? Oh god, the damage. The damage. When is it my turn? And it's over. I had a total of one turn. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> is this it? Is this really impossible to carry with tank hook? To solo at least one strong enemy? No. 
I can't give up yet. I will make it. I know what I have to do. I have to defeat the person who has been oppressing the underground from above. The mother of all evil, Cocolia, which is a lore reason and totally not because she has fire weakness. Alright, let's do this, but since Hook is alone, I'll go through the difficulties one by one and see the highest we can beat. Number one, too easy. Boom, easy, number two, cleared. Alright, this was a slight struggle in the beginning, but we cleared this one too. I think that might be it, I don't think we can clear much higher, but let's try. Oh god, this is gonna be hard. That's so much damage, and I'm permanently CC'd! Ugh. Okay, something needs to change. That wasn't too bad, but we still got whooped, so... Okay, I believe this is actually possible. No, this is definitely possible. I just need to pray for good RNG, and two things need to happen. Effect Dress needs to protect me from getting CC'd, and my Effect Hit Rate needs to apply the Talent Burn, else we can't heal ourselves. Oh no, it's so over. And as the Comet hurls down, I saw all my progress flash before my eyes. And I failed. And again. And again. And this run is also doomed. Oh shit, I survived? Oh, never mind. <laughs> what a roller coaster of emotions. Uh, hello? Did I fail so hard my game crashed? Cocolia just turned off my Wi Fi. At this time, I was consistently able to clear the first phase, but the second phase was giving me troubles. The stun into comets was just too much to handle. I could only be saved by RNGs. Oh, CC'd. CC'd again, what? Just let me all to heal. Oh man, am I dead? And with that, the first phase was no biggie. Yes! No CC. Remember, we only heal when we attack burning enemies, so please burn. This run was starting off a little rough, but you can see here after I got below half HP that my HP hovers around the same amount, so I can counter heal myself pretty well. Okay, attack to heal, and now we ult. With the burn stack, we heal again. I don't think I've ever had this much HP in the second phase. Looking doable. I don't mind this boss, I love this song actually. Okay, and now applying the burn. The only redemption. Power translates into hope. Dude, I had to hear this voice line like so many fucking times today. And we survived that. Oh, I was so close, but we win! Now we old. We did it! We did it! We did it! Die! We did it! <laughs> Woohoo! Six minutes clear, dude! Oh man, that took like 15 billion attempts. And with that, it's over. Bacolia has been defeated. Now, I can de-equip Hook from my team, probably forever, and now I can finally sleep.